case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a surprising 1989 case heard by the Delaware Supreme Court, Paramount Communications Inc. v. Time Inc., the stakes were high for the future of media conglomerate Time Inc. Paramount Communications Inc. launched a surprise all-cash takeover bid for Time, disrupting Time's planned merger with Warner. The Time Board rejected Paramount's offer, a move that led to a legal challenge from Time's own shareholders who argued that the board was not acting in their best interest by turning down the lucrative bid. The unfolding legal drama saw Time's board take several defensive measures including an automatic share exchange agreement with Warner, a no-shop clause, and obtaining confidence letters from banks ensuring resistance against any third-party efforts to acquire Time. The move didn't silence the critics, and the shareholders launched a lawsuit seeking to halt Time's tender offer. In a lower court, the chancellor ruled in favor of Time's board, validating their defensive tactics under the Unocal Standard, a legal precedent that outlined what corporate boards must consider in evaluating takeover threats. The shareholders appealed to the Delaware Supreme Court, arguing that the board had prioritized keeping Time's identity and retaining the Time culture over the short-term value to the shareholders. The Delaware Supreme Court affirmed the lower court's ruling, finding Time's board actions in response to Paramount's offer reasonable and duty-bound. The court held Paramount's bid was a legally cognizable threat to Time's shareholders and corporate policy, giving the board valid grounds for defensive actions. Recognizing board's indispensability and identifying the best fit for the company, the court concluded that the board was justified in choosing Warner over Paramount. Notably, the court's judgment clarified the application of the Unical standard implying it is not the court's role to evaluate the merits of a short-term versus a long-term investment goal for shareholders. It held that management strategies that are coercive or forcing shareholders to accept a management-backed alternative to a hostile offer may be considered unreasonable. The ruling established a clear precedent shedding light on the powers and duties of corporate boards when responding to hostile takeover attempts an issue that had proved contentious in the business world. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.